This right here is the Scale 118 MISO Audi R8 GT. And again, like the Cayman I just um, uploaded, uh, this is a re-review of one of my very old reviews. And this is a very popular car, so I really wanted to just get back with the detail and just to really demonstrate it a lot better because that was a really short video. It was only 2 minutes, 50 seconds, and I didn't go too in-depth. But anyway, so uh, let's begin with this. If we start with the features, we can see that this car does feature full suspension, uh, mostly in the back. It does exist in the front, but as you can see, it doesn't really move that much. We, we know it has it just by looking in there, but um, whatever. Everything does open. Front does open right there. Sometimes it falls down a little bit. It actually opens a bit too much all the way to that. It's a bit strange, but at least it opens. This is very similar to the Scale 118 Maisto R8V8. This is just the V10 version, essentially. It's a little bit, it's a little lightened up. This is a, this is a pretty good car. It has a few minor issues, but nothing major. Still a very good deal at around $29. This is a premier edition. It's funny because some of the special edition Maestos actually uh, look a little bit better than the premieres. If we uh, just get started here, there's a pretty big gap there. One, one right there. Decent size one around here. This doesn't fit too flush uh, with, yeah, as you can see, I can kind of stick that right in there. It's not perfect around this area. It's not really that bad though. There's another little gap right there. Some more gaps. Now this was a slight problem that I, when I took this out of the box, I realized that the back was sticking out very much like this. And I was pretty disappointed to see that, although I realized you can just kind of click it back into place. I guess if you really wanted to secure it, you could put some model glue in there, but it looks fine and it's not it always stays in place anyway, so I don't see a problem with it. Getting up close in these wheels. These wheels look very nice, definitely. Um, of course, the brake disc doesn't move, but it does have the caliper. It's got an Audi logo in the middle. It's a really nice titanium color, and the, it's a nice accent to the actual um, color of the car, the silver. This headlight here, no peg, and this is actually has the LED version, and we all know that, that these Audis have a very nice LED um, line right here. It's kind of their signature thing now. You can see that. Now compared to the V8 Maestos, this um, headlight's a lot more narrow um, than it. It also has a different grille here. It has a Quattro logo right there as well. Pretty small trunk. It's hard to get used much, much use out of that. The engine bay, pretty good. I mean, if you've seen one of these in person, you'll realize that you don't see too much of um, the engine detail underneath anyway. But it isn't one big plastic piece. I can stick that all the way through. And the coloring is right. It, this engine, it, it really does look very, very good. And you can, there's kind of a carbon fiber pattern here along, continues throughout there. The heat shield actually has a window right there. That's a very nice, well-executed engine, definitely. Continuing with the carbon fiber along here. And there's some vents right there that also have a really nice texture. More carbon fiber here. And a very nice design on the taillights. More LEDs. There's that diffuser. Inside, this is a Euro model. Uh, it's the Euro spec, of course, because Maisto generally uh, bases their cars off the prototypes. And the way you can tell that is by the seats, because these are, uh, it's got the five point seat belts. I'm not sure, I can't quite read what that says on there. Still can't read it, but 
Some sort of racing company, I'm sure. Looks pretty good. Although this one just kind of sits here. It should go into there, but whatever. Detail is pretty good in here. There's more carbon fiber. This, this car is carbon fiber everywhere. A very nice texture on the door panel, as well as on the dash. We can see inside it actually has a GPS with um, with a navigation screen on there. So it's got the roads and everything. Looks pretty good. The dials, they have little numbers on there. And it has no carpet, as most Maestos don't anyway. As well as that RAGT logo there. Gas cap. And last but not least, the underside, which is isn't that great, but with this car, I would expect that it is pretty well um, flat underneath there, just for aerodynamics purposes. It's hard to verify that. Um, these these wires, they are just part of the bottom of the car. It doesn't look that great, but that's okay. You barely see this part anyway. It's got really nice tires there. Pretty good. So, again, uh, this is Scale 118 Maisto RHET, and I would highly recommend it, about $30. And that's it. Great car, great value. Thanks for watching.